Hello everyone, my name is Miss Ashley from Fibo Kids Art Academy and for today's process art project we're going to be creating some coffee filter flowers. So let's go ahead and get started with our fun art project for today. For our project you're going to be needing some scissors, glue, watercolors, um, oil pastels, a spray bottle, and most importantly, you are going to be needing some Crayola markers and those coffee filters. I'm just gonna go ahead and put these to the side for right now. I don't need them at this moment, but we will come back to those in just a bit. Right now, we're just going to focus on our um, coffee filter flowers and our markers. You will also need some paper um, for the background. Now I have these coffee filters. Coffee filters do come in different shapes and sizes, so there is no right or wrong to what coffee filters you do use. Some people prefer the bigger ones with the ways on it. I actually really like these because they are just a little bit smaller and I can always trim the top of them to um, create those um, flower petals. So I'm just gonna take about five of these out just to show you different ways to color these coffee filters. Do make sure though that you have um, like some um, Crayola markers and probably work on a hard surface so it's easy to clean off. But I do like having the pa extra paper right here just so it doesn't get too messy. All right, and what we're gonna do first is we're just gonna take a flower or a coffee filter. It's not quite a flower yet. <laughs> and you can take your Crayola markers and you can color them however you would like. So I can just take my yellow and just scribble all over. And I'm just taking my Crayola again, just scribbling. I'm gonna grab a different yellow. And just scribbling. Now I could just leave it yellow if I want to, but it is a little bit boring and it kind of defeats the purpose of um, how these flowers are going to work. So I can actually take um, some different colors and add to those flowers. So I'm just gonna add some fun lines. You can draw lines if you want to, you can draw some squiggles or shapes, and that is up to you. And I'm gonna add some red on, actually I'm gonna add some raspberry pink at the bottom. So there is my first flower. Now, you don't have to just stick to some simple um, analogous colors. You can actually combine more colors, um, like blues and pinks and purples. Um, I really like the purple, so I'm gonna add purple to the bottom of this. And again, you don't have to do just simple line, lines like this. You can actually do some swirls if you want to. And you can add some more designs. And get super creative with your flowers because we don't know how they're going to turn out when we add water to them. And I'll add some light blue as well. And some green. All right, so there are my, um, there's my second flower. I'm going to go for a nice orange flower, but I can also add some colors like this so it doesn't have to go top to bottom. I can just scribble side to side as well. To create more analogous colors. Analogous colors are colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. So orange is next to yellow, yellow is next to yellow green. Like so. Yeah, have fun with creating your flowers. There's no right or wrong to how you create them. I think for this one, I'm going to do a bright pink. And yellow on the top. And make sure as you are um, coloring your flowers that you are using the side of your Crayola marker. It makes it a lot easier and fills up that area pretty fast. So again, I'm just using the side, I'm just adding those fun lines. 
and you can extend those lines down into the pink too. All right, just about done. I'm going to add some red to the bottom here. And I'll grab some yellow. And again, you can always add those different shapes to um, your flowers as well. So I think for mine, I'm going to add some light green. And then I'll add some blue shapes. Try your best to get um, that entire area. If you do have some white spots from your um, coffee filter, that's okay, because once we add the water, it will start to mix together. Um, I'm just going to add some dots here. You can add some fun shapes. So maybe I'm going to do some swirlies. Just for kicks and giggles. All right, so I have some really pretty flowers right here. Um, you can make some more if you want to, because maybe you're not totally satisfied with the um, flowers that you create, or maybe you want to try some different colors, like adding some purples on some of them. Again, that's up to you. But um, when you are done, if you would like to, this is an optional step, but you can cut out the top of your coffee filters or around them to create more of like a petal effect. So for example, I can take this and cut out the tops of those coffee filters for your petals. That way they look a little bit more like petals, not flat. You can have them flat if you want to, there's nothing wrong with that, but I do like the um, curve lines or the zigzags just to create those petals. All right, so I'm just cutting out some triangles from my flowers. This one right here. And I did make some more that are currently drying, but again, I'll come back to those in just a bit. Because it's fun to make a lot of flowers and have a good variety. Because you don't have to use all these if you don't want to. So I'm just cutting out the tops of these. Again, it's optional. You definitely don't have to do this if you don't want to. And last but not least, I'm going to add those waves to this one. All right, so when you are done cutting out the tops of your flowers, again, that was an optional step. You don't have to do that. You're going to lay your flowers on either a paper towel or a, um, or a um, paper like I have right here. And what you're going to do is you are going to take your water bottle and you're going to spray those flowers. Now you do want to kind of get close, but you don't want to drown your flowers just because if it has too much water, it's just going to bleed everywhere and it will take a long time to dry. So I'm just taking my squirt bottle and I'm just squirting those flowers. And you can see that those colors are starting to mix a bit more. going back over just to make sure that they dry or that they blend. All right. If you find that maybe they're not blending as much, you can just squirt them one more time. And so that is it for the flower part. We're actually going to put these to the side for them to dry and we're going to be working on our background next. All right, so I cleaned up my area and I put my coffee filter flowers to the side um, so they can dry. Um, you can use a hair dryer to dry them a little bit faster. That's totally up to you. Um, I, again, I just put mine to the side because I'm going to be working on um, the background for my um, coffee filter flowers. So um, you can decide on any kind of background you'd like. Maybe you would like a landscape with those flowers or maybe you want those flowers in a vase. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to be drawing um, a vase and adding those stems to it. So first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start to draw my vase. And I think I want mine to look a little bit more clear. 
So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to take my blue. And again, there's no right or wrong to how you draw this background. That's up to you. But I'm just going to draw first a curve right here for the top of my face. And then I'll come down here and bring it out like so. I'm using oil pastels for this. Oil pastels and watercolors don't mix, so that's why I am using oil pastels. I'm just trying to make it nice and even, but again, um, part of the process um, art um, pictures is just to have fun with it and experiment. More so we were just experimenting with the flowers um, and creating them. But now I'm just going to blend those edges like so, just so it looks like it's in glass. I'm not going to blend the entire thing because I do want to add some stems. But with my oil pastels, I'm getting really close to the edge. I used a medium blue for the outline, and now I'm using a light blue to blend. And these are all optional steps. You don't have to do this. You could just draw some simple stems and call it good. Um, again, it's your picture, so you have fun with it. So I'm just taking my light blue and just blending that edge. Alright, I'm just going to ground here too. Alright. Now I do want to take my green and I'm going to add those stems. And I'll make sure they come down just a little bit in my water. Add a tall one here. And it's okay if um, those flowers do extend outside of your picture. It actually makes it look really interesting. So I'm going to just add those stems. And some are hiding behind others, like that. And I can always go back and draw those again if I do want to add even more flowers. Maybe I'll just add a stem here and here. All right, I'm going to add some shading to that with some dark green. Maybe I want to draw some leaves too, that's optional. All right, so there's my oil pastel vase and stems. Now you don't have to use the same art materials that I'm using for the background. If you wanted to use crayons, if you wanted to just use watercolors, if you just wanted a simple white background and don't add watercolor and just draw those stems in with markers, that's totally okay too. Um, again, this is your project, so you have fun with it. I'm just gonna add a little bit of um, lines coming out. All right, I'm gonna blend just a little bit more. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add watercolor to my background. So for my background, I'm going to, well first, I'm gonna just tidy up these edges a bit so I can really see them well. And then I'm gonna make sure to tap off any of that extra oil pastel because I don't want it on my paper. And now I can go to watercolor. Now I'm gonna be very careful with the watercolor um, because I do want it to dry fast. And if I have too much watercolor, um, it can bleed right through or, and affect your coffee filter flowers. So I'm just adding some light blue in here. Whoops. You can use whatever colors you want. And you can make it look like it's clear glass and add a little bit of water and blend it back and forth. You can have fun with creating your background. Again, it could be a landscape, it could be a garden, it could be just a simple vase picture like mine. I'm going to just add some blue up here. 
And I'll also add some green lines, just so it looks a little bit more reflective. All right, and now I'm gonna be painting that background. I think I'm gonna go for a nice gradient of um, yellow to yellow, or orange, yellow, orange to yellow. And again, you don't want it to be too, too wet. So I'm just creating a nice gradient. And hopefully by the time you are done with your background, your um, flowers are dry. Um, they'll dry a lot faster if you do use a hair dryer. So I'm just blending the, that background. And you can paint that background however you would like. Get some more yellow. You can create a full-on background. Maybe it's in a living room. Okay, I'm just going for something a little bit more simple, though, so my flowers are the main attraction to my picture. All right. A nice, beautiful gradient going on back here. It's really nice. However you did your background for your pictures, you have done a wonderful job. I'm gonna add some a little bit of yellow orange to the top here. That's a little too much. Let's add those strokes. All right, and there's my background. I'm gonna go ahead and put these to the side and I'm gonna take out my glue because now we're gonna be gluing on our um, flowers. So I'm just going to go very quickly and go grab my flowers. I will be back very soon. And here are my beautiful coffee filter flowers. Um, most of them are pretty dry. These were some extra ones that I had done um, prior to. But what we're going to do now is we're just going to be gluing our coffee filter flowers onto our paper. Now if your paper is still a little bit wet, maybe hold off and wait until it is dry. Um, but Mine's pretty dry. I'm just going to go ahead and start to glue on these flowers. And it's okay if it pops out of your paper just a little bit. It actually makes it look really interesting. So you're just going to take your glue and you're going to glue one side. And if you also like one side of your flower more than the other, that's okay too because, again, there's no right or wrong to when you do process art. So I'm just going to take my glue and just glue them right onto my picture. Now word of caution, if your flowers are still really wet, I would hold off on this step because um, if they're wet, it can bleed onto the paper and cause it to be, a, um, cause it to create some like tie-dye splatter effects. Not that there's anything wrong with tie-dye, but I'm not sure if that's what you want to go for in your picture. So I'm just going to take my flowers and just place them on carefully. I do have this flower here. I do like this one though. I think I'll do this one instead. Now also one other thing, if you um, want to trim down those flowers a little bit too, um, that's totally okay as well. Let me grab my scissors. And if you wanna trim down any of those flowers, you're more than welcome to. So I do like this flower here, but I think I want it to be just a little bit smaller. That way I can put it right around here in front of that one. But again, make sure that you kind of um, know where you do want to place your flowers though. I think I'm gonna make this one also a little bit smaller. These turned out beautiful. I can't wait to see what flowers you came up with. I do like them. They are so very pretty. Put this one right here. I'm just kind of placing my flowers on where I want them to go, maybe where I don't want them to go. I'm just going to cut off some of those flowers. Just trim them. I do like this one a lot. I like um, this side a little bit more because of that effect. So I'm just going to some 
glue and glue it onto my flower right there. And then I think I'll put this one. I do have these ones that I like too, so I'm gonna grab these. Okay, you don't have to trim them if you don't want to. That's up to you. I'll just put one right here. And then make sure you are using some nice, good glue to glue them in place. I'll glue this one here too. But look how beautiful our pictures have turned out today. All right, just about done adding some flowers. I'm gonna put this one right here. I'll put that one last though. I'll take this one and put it here. I'm gonna trim this one down also. Awesome, did you have one of those flowers that's your absolute favorite? Definitely let us know either on social media, on YouTube, or Instagram, or Twitter, or our Facebook page. We'd love to see what you guys come up with. I'm going to put my flower here. And I'm going to put another flower right here. And this is where it can get a little bit tricky because there's just so many pretty flowers. It's hard to choose just one. Or just some. And look, this one also looks really nice too because of um, the white, white speckles on it where the water didn't all, seep all the way through. So maybe I'll actually take this one. I'm going to put it right here. And I'll take this one. This one looks nice too. I like the blue and the greens with it and the purples. It's very pretty. I'll put that one right here and that one here. Now I'll have a beautiful bouquet of flowers. I'll put that one here and this one, last but certainly not least, right here. And look how beautiful that looks. I do have some extra flowers. You can always save these for something else. Um, where you can just toss them because you can always make more flowers. Now, if you want to go back and add um, some extra leaves or um, any little designs to your flowers, you are more than welcome to do that. So maybe I want some um, things coming out of here and here with some nice um, little um, designs. And that is up to you. But look how beautiful our picture turned out by creating some coffee filter flowers. You've done a wonderful job. Just make sure to clean your hands and clean your area. And if your picture's still a little bit wet, don't forget to put it to the side and wait for it to dry a little bit more. But we are done with our coffee filter flowers. Wow, we did a really good job today. I really love how these turned out. They're just so vibrant and beautiful. Um, if you love what you um, created today, be sure to share with us on either Facebook at our Fibo Village page or Fibo Kids Art Academy. Also, we have an Instagram and Twitter account. Um, and just be sure to share your pictures. We love to see what you all come up with. And we'll see you next time at Fibo Kids Art Academy. Bye.